you guys doing, man? Uh, let's first off, uh, first off, let me uh, start off by saying um, my deepest uh, thoughts and prayers go out to the family of Rodney Hunt. Mm. You know, someone that's been in the boxing world for a very long time. I uh, heard of his passing this morning, and um, I'm deeply saddened by his uh, passing. He was a very nice man. Um, prayers go out to his family, his beautiful daughter, his wife. And uh, that being said, man, this is this is the this is a, a fight that, in all honesty, I seen coming since the first time I've ever sparred Andy. I remember the first time I ever sparred him. The first time I ever seen him was a uh, a pudgy kid that went in the ring, and I thought nothing of him until he threw those hands, and those hands were lethal. Those hands were dangerous. They were fast, and he was a Mexican with speed. And, and I knew one day this day will come and this day is here. And now I'm, I'm preparing and I'm be, being ready for this man because he is a dangerous man. At one point he wanted to be like me and now I want to be like him. You know, he became the first heavyweight title. He did something that I didn't do. And you know, and all he deserved it. He deserved everything that he got. And now it's my turn. It's my time to, to uh, do my best to uh, uh, change everything, to change history to prove that I am part of a, a great, an elite heavyweight, uh, an elite Mexican heavyweight. And um, I'm gonna give them all. I've given them all already the past two months out here in uh, the Valley and I got another month to go. So we get, we gotta keep working. Um, can't wait till uh, May 1st for a great fight. Uh, Rock'em, sock'em kind of fight. And uh, I know I know Andy's prepared. I've seen them legs. I've seen him being ready. I've seen him, I've seen him, uh, 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 buffing and, and and showing his new physique and you know what this is going to be a great fight this is going to be a a fight that people should be talking about on the like i said the water cooler talk kind of kind of mm -hmm. fight and um can't wait work still still more work to be done and may 1st we, i will be ready uh to uh shop the world i just want to thank god for being here again and in this um this place and you know we've been training really hard we've been We've been training ever since my last defeat. You know, I've been, I've been a um, little depressed. I've been going through a lot of stuff from before because I knew all the stuff that I had that, that I did not do, you know? So I'm really motivated for May 1st. I know Chris Arriola is training hard. Like he said, um, the first time we, we met, I, I wanted to be like him. And now the, the tables has turned and, you know, he's motivated as well, but, like I said, we're, we're ready. I've been training really hard. My mentality is where it needs to be. Um, you know, we're, we're ready for, for whatever's coming. Well, oh. just that we're, we're both warriors, man. We don't like to give up. Um, we take punches, we receive them, and we give them back, you know. Um, and I have nothing but love um, with Chris Arriola. You know, we're friends outside of the ring, but inside of the ring, you know, is business. And, you know, outside of the, out, like to this day, I'll, I'll give him a hug and be like, bro, we're about to fight. And, you know, that we're going to, you know, we got to secure the bag. That, that's what it is. Yeah. Um, one thing that I remember, like, about Andy is that he was very unassuming. I, I didn't think that he was going to have the hand speed that he had. I didn't think that he was going to have the skills that he had. And once we got in the ring, holy fuck, was, did I have a rude awakening? You know, this this kid that came from Mexicali put hands on me. You know, he was putting hands on me and I was putting hands on him back. And even though he was <laughs> 17 years old, I remember that uh, we were going, we we're banging, we we're banging hard. And instead of quitting, nah, he kept coming. And uh, it was it was a fun sparring session. I remember that very much. And I had nothing but respect for him then, and I have nothing but respect for him now. And uh, I was one of those guys that predict that he was gonna beat Joshua the first time. Thank you so much for watching this video. And make sure to subscribe for more videos of your favorite fighters over here on Fight Up TV. And give us a follow online as well, at Fight Up TV, on Twitter, and on Instagram. We appreciate it, guys.